Wiggle wiggle like So, I had a subscriber ask me, this was one of my first ask, and I'm sorry guys, I'm a little behind on my video request, trying to catch up here. I uh, did a few videos where I was trying to compare how accurate the World of Tanks Blitz version of a tank is compared to the one in history that actually existed. I did one on the Tiger one, uh, the Yag Tiger um, with the 12.8 pack. Now I had a request for the T 3485 Russian Classic. This one fought in World War II in service for many years. And going in, and the more I do of these, the more I become impressed with World of Tanks Blitz and just how close they are and accurate they are to the actual tank. And I'm assuming the other parts of it could just be because of balancing. Now, there's three different versions of this tank in the game. There's the T-3485, then there's the T-3485 Victory, both of those tier six tanks, but they do have some differences. And then you have the T-3485 Rudy, a tier seven medium. So we're gonna take a look and see which one of these tanks comes closest to the one that existed in history. Now, <laughs> when I went through and tried to compare all three of these tanks to see which one was the closest, I went back and forth quite a bit trying to see Okay, is it close, you know, what is it close in this aspect, close in this aspect? And the further the one that was the least accurate uh, to the real one in history came down to the T3485 Rudy. Um, it had more armor, it was way faster than the original one. Obviously, being a tier seven, there must have been some rebalancing things Wargaming was doing. There just was a lot about this that just booted off the list, that just did not make it very close. Um, but the other ones, I was actually quite impressed with. So it really came down to either the T-3485 Victory or just the original T-3485 in the game. And if you go in and look at the armor, the Rudy had 75 millimeters of armor in its hull. The original one only has 45 millimeters of armor almost everywhere, except on the front of the turret, which has 90 millimeters. And I was, this is where I was really impressed with Wargaming because with the Victory and the original T-3485 in the game, the armor is spot on to how the one in history actually was. So that's what I was really impressed with. Um, but now looking at these two different tanks, there are some other slight differences like in maneuverability, uh, the cannon reload and things like that. So trying to go in and dive a little bit deeper, I went in and I started looking at engine power and weight ratio. And what it came down to, what I thought was very interesting was the Victory, the Victory's engine power was closer. Neither one of these tanks had the same horsepower. The, the, um, the Victory's was closer. However, the engine power to weight ratio was more similar to the original T-3485 in the game compared to the Victory. It's a little faster than the original. Um, the Victory's a little slower and then the Rudy was just a bit faster. So it came down to, out of these three tanks, so far the T-3485 original in the game is, is the closest the, to the his, um, historical T-35, excuse me, T-3580, 
um, T30, <laughs> excuse me, T3485 in the game. Um, and then when you went and look at the cannon, I, this, I became impressed even more because the penetration values of how the one works in Blitz was also very similar to the one that actually, and how it functioned in history. Um, the reload, it said according to this gun, 10 to 12 rounds a minute is what it came down to. Now in the game, it's like 8.6 something is the rate of fire. So a little different there, but the penetration values are pretty spot on. Very, very similar. So the end of the day, the winner of the one that became the most accurate in World of Tanks Blitz is the original T-3485. So um, really awesome, super proud of Blitz, being able to keep some of these things so accurate. I, Like I said, the more and more research I do and the more and more of these videos I do on tanks that actually existed in history compared uh, to the ones in Blitz and just seeing how similar they are, I am just really impressed. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I, <laughs> like I said, I still have a lot of requests I'm trying to catch up on, but this is Stud Muffin 1986. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.